could be worthy of these horrors. Sour by arrogance, by self-righteousness, by bigotry. Once brothers become statesmen, become murderers. There is no liberty in the gouged out eyes of the children of Vukovar. One can find no nationalistic pride in the terrorized faces of the city of rubble. Within the boundaries of the town of Split, when all is quiet and the sounds of bombs have silenced, the people walk the streets parroting quotes of television headline propaganda. And although most of the rhetoric and criticism have been stated, Yugoslavia remains tangled in a web of imperialism, indoctrinating the masses to turn their backs on the truth, when in reality they turn their backs on each other. Dreams of a brighter future are shrouded by nightmares of war, and hatred runs rampant like a plague. This war has been designed for the country's best segregated interests. The freedom of the entire nation rests on the heads of only a few thousand casualties. No longer acknowledge or accept the word civilized, is used to describe the manner in which society conducts itself, another adjective lost in the pages of history, the word never spoken on the battlefield or muttered in a soldier's funeral procession. And now in a day and age of government manipulation, is there no better time to hold our breath? Maybe these sights of despair have become all too familiar, another sequence of news clips that pass by our eyes like a poorly directed film. Civil is a word I once read on the front page of a newspaper, which is now a scrap that litters a war-torn city street along with the bodies of Serbian children. I no longer recognize this word. This so-called civil war of Yugoslavia was nothing more than a clash of race, religion, and culture, the same lame excuse for which all wars are fought. Tears reflect tears and separation. Hatred perpetuates hatred. When will this ever end?